Hey, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. I want to do a quick blog here on the main expenses uh, you're going to face whether you're selling or buying real estate in the province of British Columbia. So let's talk about the selling side first. By far, the biggest expense you're going to have in selling real estate is those damn real estate commissions. Now, uh, a lot of people don't realize that real estate commissions are not set for in British Columbia. In other words, a realtor can basically uh, charge whatever they want to list and sell your home. Now, for me, um, I charge 7% on the first 100000 2.5% on the balance. Now keep in mind, uh, in the majority of sales that I'm involved in, not all that commission flows to me. Um, usually uh, there's a, a selling side, myself, and then there's usually a buying realtor. So let's say I list the property and a Royal LePage agent brings the buyer. Um, that commission is going to be split between me and my brokerage and the Royal LePage agent and her company, Royal LePage. Um, the other things you're going to be looking at in selling a property are going to be your lawyer or notary fees, looking at anywhere between $700 to $1,000. Um, that's to uh, 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 transfer title, um, get rid of any encumbrances or charges that are on title. Um, the other thing you want to look at is before you list your house, it's a good idea to talk to your mortgage broker or your bank and to see if there's any penalties uh, for uh, selling that home. Um, if you are selling your home and buying another one, usually you can port your mortgage, so it means you can transfer it without any fees or penalties, but always a good idea to see uh, what's involved. Go down to your bank and find out if there isn't going to be any extra fees or, or charges for selling that home. Now on the buying side, again, you've got your notary or lawyer fees, uh, registering title, they'll do a statement of adjustment. So you're looking at $700, $900, give or take, uh, for your notary fees. Um, you're going to have property transfer tax, uh, which is 1% on the first 200, 2% on the balance. Uh, if you're a first-time home buyer, though, and the purchase price is under $475,000, uh, you, that's waived. Um, the other major expenses, uh, you're going to have to uh, get a new mortgage in place. There could be some fees for establishing the new mortgage. Um, bank may want to do an appraisal on the property you're buying. Uh, that could run $300 to do an appraisal. Uh, you're going to need to get insurance on the property, fire, content insurance, that kind of thing. So those would be some of the main expenses on the buying side. I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.